Good morning, everyone. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my entire perfume collection. Um, I've made some new additions and I have some new absolute loves that I wanted to share with you guys. You know, I'll apologize for my face, but not really. It's like my skincare routine. It's super early in the morning right now. I just decided to wake up and record something while I'm fresh. I have my coffee. I'm very content with my collection right now. Let's go, let's, let's talk about this. But first things first, coffee. And before coffee, some real hot girl shit right here. Sorry, I had to see that. Not really though, because, um, you know, I'm trying to straighten my teeth out here. They're a little crooked. Mm. That was the first sip, people. There's nothing like the first sip. So first, let's talk about my sentimental perfumes that I can't live without. Smoking Rouge, um, I from BDK. I used to actually have a, a travel size of this. I think it was a 50 ml or maybe 10, I don't know. But I used to have a little travel size of it. Went through that, um, yes. This was like the second perfume I've ever purchased or first, either first or second. And um, I got this in 2020 when I started first working from home. Demi Rawling recommended this one and I was like, I need something. It's when I first started getting it, first started getting into perfumes. And um, I don't know, it just made working from home so much more bearable. I just, I just remember hating being inside. And so this, this guy, girl, bottle of perfume made it really lovely actually. Just typing and working and grabbing my water, smelling myself, made the whole work experience a lot better working from home. Um, next is another nostalgic one, Passe Soir. Um, I got this one, first I ordered the two samples from BDK and then after that I, I knew I wanted to have both of these. So after I got this one, I either got this one um, before I got Valentino, Donna Born in Roma, or after, somewhere along there. And then I got this one. And this one I absolutely adore. Um, right when we could take vacations again, this was everywhere. I, I, I brought this with us. I, I mean, <laughs> I brought this to Santa Cruz. We like to watch um, Lost Boys on the Beach at um, the boardwalk. And, uh, then we go to the beach the next day and just have a nice fun family day with all my in-laws and nieces and nephews on that side. Let's see, another love. This is a requit, rec recent acquisition. Um, this is Swiss Arabian, Shemuk Al Gutra. Super smoky, I love this one so, so, so much. <sighs> yeah, this one. I just wear when I want to be bad. When I'm going to a party where all my cool friends are going, like, all my friends are cool though. I have like five friends, you guys. But yeah, this one, Shemekal Gutra, that's in my collection. Um, so far, all of these are lifers, like not going anywhere without these in my life. Yeah, this one too. I, I just love her so much. Mm-hmm. Mm. La Belle from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And I have YSL Libre Intense. I love this one. This is my peer review perfume. If anybody knows what that means, you know what that means. I wear this to peer review committee. This one is a lifer also. So far, all lifers, okay? I have Donna Valentino, Born in Roma. Gonna need another one. This is my hubby's favorite, with good reason. Reason, and um, for a while I was looking for something that just had the vanilla bourbon, because um, I wasn't a big fan of the florals at the top at first. But now I just can't live without the whole that she is, everything that she is. I love her so much. Um, 
I did buy this one. This is um, Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon. And first of all, I love this bottle so, so much. It is so beautiful. Um, but I will say I, I love both of them. They both actually have the same vanilla bourbon thing going on once this dries down. And I also, so this one probably won't be for everybody, but, um, at least for me anyways, when I first smell it, I get pencil shavings, but I'm not mad at that at all because it just reminds me of such happy times in fourth grade sharpening, you know, the pencil sharpeners. Yeah, where you like stick it in there and there's like that double spiral that sharpens the pencil. So cool. I gotta get one in this house. I want a pencil sharpener in this house. I don't buy the um the plastic lead pencils. They're just so unreliable for me. Like the lead just slips right back through. I don't know. And I just like the smell of wooden pencils. That's weird. I know I'm weird. If you didn't know that by now, then you know, now you know. But yes, they, this one. And this one do have similar vanilla bourbons. Not the same perfume at all. This one's sexy. This one's also sexy, but also for me, it's very nostalgic because of that pencil shaving thing going on. I really love it. Oh, makes me happy. This is a happy scent. I hope they don't discontinue it. I hope they keep that one around forever. Um, this is a forever one for me, all time favorite. Um, this is Zerjoff's Dharma Bianca. Oh, I think I need this one. I think, I think this one's going to be my scent of the day. Just, this is how I spray them. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Yes. Mm. I'll always have a bottle of this in my collection. This one and Janine Noir. Always and forever. This is a new acquisition too. Um, Yulia from Scent Sibling sent me a sample of this. So this one's kind of sentimental too because I feel like she was my first, she's my first YouTube friend. Like I just love her so much. Her whole everything about her. She's she's an amazing person and I'm so lucky. Oh, so lucky to have met her and I'm so happy she sent me a sample of this because I just I adore it so much. Oh, this one brings me joy. Number one, it smells good. Number two, Yulia, like hello. I wouldn't, I wouldn't without Yulia, you know? She's, she really welcomed me into this fragrance community and I love her and appreciate her so much for that. Yulia. Okay. Um, this also is a new acquisition, Mugler Aura. Um, this one is also very sentimental to me too. And, um, Sunny Scents actually sent me a sample of this and you guys, I fell in love with it. Sunny Scents is also an angel. I also consider her like all of, all of everybody that I follow. I just consider them my friends because they totally, um, show me new things and I love learning from them. My channel, I'm not a learning channel. I'll do a little about me and what the heck my channel is later, but Sunny Sense, thank you so much for sending me a sample. I really appreciate it. This is a lifer. This one and holidays, like see? Yeah, YouTube friends. YouTube, you know, people who talk about fragrances, I consider them friends because thank you for sharing your knowledge. You don't have to, but I thank you. You know, um, the only one intense from Dolce & Gabbana. I love this one too. There's something about this that I just love, 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 love. I think it's just the whole thing. I love the whole thing about this one. It's beautiful, sweet. Mm, yes. Easy to get your nose on this one, I think, if you have a Macy's around you. So, I also love this one. This is a lifer as well. This is Maj Al Sultan from Asta. And at a fragrant glance, actually, um, 
was reading about this and I was like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I think she mentioned that someone told her she smells like church incense, which I was like, I've been to church, but I don't remember what the incense smells like. I don't think I'm ever close enough to the little pendulum with smoke coming out of it. But I really love this one, you guys. But I will say it took me a while to get over the opening of it. I did have to let it macerate for about three weeks. And after that, it's heaven. It's heaven. This is the perfect fall scent. Um, the fragrantition actually tagged me in the Four Seasons. <clears throat> one perfume for season so i'm probably going to do that one again and spoiler spoiler alert this one's for fall mm -hmm. absolutely i've just been wearing it non-stop this is a travel size but i am going to get a bottle i'm going to put on my christmas list and i will most likely get it for christmas and if i don't i'll probably get a sephora card and i'll buy it with that and if i don't i'll buy it myself with my own coin because i'm a grown woman and I know what I want. I want a big bottle of this baby. Um, as you can see, my anxiety is just, you're running out, Tammy. You're running out. You have this much time left to get a new bottle. So that I will do. I will get me a new bottle, a big bottle. Maybe not a big one, maybe a 50 ml because winters here in Stockton are not that um, prolonged. So I'm just gonna get maybe the me the medium, the smaller bottle of it. I think that'll be perfect for me. More coffee. Oh, Casablanca. Casablanca, you know, I ordered a Swiss Arabian set. Smelled this one, loved it. Um, heard opinionated sense talking about it. And um I was just like, yeah, I should get the Swiss Arabian sample set. See if I like that one because Tara Michelle loves that one and I freaking love it. Everybody on YouTube loves it, everybody. But I mean, it's just a beautiful, oh, this one's also beautiful for fall if you like sweeter scents. Like this one, I'll layer with this one, but honestly, like must, this must be my fall scent. I have loved this so much. I've layered it with this. I've layered it with an, with this one also. Anyway, Swiss Arabian Casablanca, love it. Noir from Pascal Morabito. Sorry about the greasiness, but then not really. I'm just living my life the best way that I know how. And I love pizza and I love um, spraying myself after I feel like I smell like pizza, but I don't want to smell like pizza. I love to eat it, but I don't want to smell like, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is so freaking beautiful. Mm, yeah, like for me, I don't see anybody not liking this. This one is more cinnamony with some incense slash smoke, a ripe green apple. Imagine a freshly sliced green apple with some cinnamon and some sugar and you throw it in the oven, that smell, that is this, that is this. That is the apple aspect of this, I should say. That's what that apple smells like. And at first it's very incense-y and, and slightly cinnamony smoky at first, but then when that apple opens up, that apple that I just previously described, that's what you get. And it's beautiful. Um, does it last all day? I don't know. I don't know that it lasts all day, but uh, lasts long enough for me. I'd say six hours. For some people, that's not a lot, but for me, that's that's fine. Um, Dua, this is gonna be my summer scent. Mm hmm. I can't wait to wear this in the summer, you guys. It's on. I like to roller skate in the summer. Um, this one I like not as much as her sister, you know. She's the favorite, she's the black sheep. Like I do love you and I try to love you, but you guys, when I spray this, first of all, I spray heavy. You've seen how I do it. I spray it heavy and um, the opening is very thick. It's a thick opening for me. So what I'll do is I'll spray my sweater before or my long sleeve before and then 
I'll do my skincare, have my coffee, take a shower, get ready for the day, put that sweater on, and it's like exactly where I want it to be, about 30, 45 minutes after I've sprayed the sweater. And I love it. I absolutely love that part of it. 30, 45 minutes after I initially spray it. That is actually, sorry, this is La Belle Le Parfum from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this one is Hayati. I'm also gonna wear this one in the summer. Can't wait for that. And Nat Natalie Davis said it correctly. And this is what sold me. She said it smelled like a raspberry hookah. I know, yeah, I love the smell of raspberry hookah. Hookah, any type of fruity hookah, like I love that smell. I remember my first time going into a hookah bar. It wasn't that long ago, guys. I was like 29, that was just two years ago. And um, I just remember saying, oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. And it smelled like this and I love this. So I'm ready to wear that one. Um, next, I have Flora Botanica. And I do love this one, but I feel like I don't wear it enough. But I have to be in the mood for this, you know? It's a rosy, clean smell. But sometimes I do want this. There is a mood where I want, I do want to just smell like this. Oh, that is so lovely. I really do need to wear this baby more. Balenciaga Flora Botanica. Amber from Nemot. This is my favorite Sunday scent. It is so clean and warm and just homey. I love wearing this at home on my laundry days. It's like when I know I'm just gonna be at home and content, have nothing to worry about. I don't have any errands to run. This is the one that I like to wear around the house. Amber from Nemo. I also have the oil. I like to wear both of them together. I will say though, I smell the oil more on me than this, but other people can actually smell this on me, which is weird. I never, I feel like I need to smell it though, so that's why I get the oil and this. All Haramein Janine Noir, and this one is, smells exactly, almost exactly, I should say almost exactly like um, Dama Bianca. I like this one because it projects and it lasts longer. Mm -hmm. And it projects the parts of Dama Bianca that, thank you, honey, um, don't project as loudly as the other notes in Dama Bianca. Like Dama Bianca, oh yeah. So Dama Bianca, there is something on my skin, and a lot of people probably won't like how it smells on them, but for me, it smells like wet skin and it gets sweeter that um malt no i can really pick that up and the the musk is there musk in it i don't know and brett yeah i think there is musk in it and that is what kind of sticks around um all harming genuine noir matter of fact i'll just spray that on too well i don't want to be too loud see this is like i want it like everybody feel this feel the kumquat feel the kumquat smell this kumquat people <sighs> my husband's spying on me hi babe i see you mugler angel iced star i haven't sprayed this one in a while but it's one of my summer scents i need to have more summer scents because or it's yeah because stockton gets hot it gets hot where i live and so i need to have Thing variety for all those hot days. These two, not gonna lie, I bought them for the packaging. I didn't even, you know, I bought them for the packaging. They smell really good, but I don't like them as much as all my other perfumes. So yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't, haven't been reaching for them as much. This one is super sweet. So just look at how beautiful this bottle is. Like, I don't care. I'll use that one up and just not buy it again and keep that bottle for decorative purposes. Oh yeah, this one does smell really good. I need to wear this one more. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, Olive oil is a little too sweet for me. I don't know. I don't know. 
of Mont Blanc. This is a newer acquisition for me. I got it because, oh yeah. Marshmallows, Marcy Mellows um, video. She said that it smells like Orange Julius drink. And I don't know if anybody else knows what that is, but it is a drink that they used to have at the mall. Again, nostalgic for me, because I used to go there with my friends. And I'd almost every time get an Orange Julius, the classic orange vanilla drink. And like this one, I need to wear it more, but I don't know. There's just some other scents that I like to wear other than this. So maybe it's just not the right time for me. I don't know, but I do really like it. Mon Grillon, which I don't think I'm gonna keep. I think I'm gonna give this to my Lola. It just smells better on her. Um, on me, how do I explain it? It doesn't smell, it just doesn't smell that good on me. Honestly, it doesn't. It doesn't smell how it does out of the bottle on me. And this is this, the Mon Grillon that I love is from the bottle. And when my Lola wears it, I totally smell it on her. But for me, I don't know what it is. Something funny happens with that lavender on my skin and it just doesn't work for me. And I'm really sad about it. <sighs> yeah, I'm really sad about it. Maybe I could just keep it as a room spray. No, I'll give this to my Lola. She really loved this one. I um, bought this and it came with a free lotion. So I gave that lotion to my Lola. So I'll just give her this one too because she really does love it. She can have that one. Amalfi Sunray. And I actually got this one from Yulia. And this is a great perfume too. I'm gonna wear this one in the summer for sure. Oh, this one is from Zara Emotions. Number degrees zero four. Whatever that means. Don't mind the stain here. We won't look at that. We'll just cover it. Oh, not that finger. It's a bad finger. Can't wait to wear this one in the summer. Love my summer variety fragrances. Okay, now let's talk about me a little bit. You don't have to though. You could totally exit, you know? I know this movie was made for people who like fragrances, not for people who want to know about me, you know what I'm saying? But if you want to know, I'll tell you, okay? like. I'm very family oriented person. I love to roller skate. I love coffee, all things coffee. You need to find a, that coffee um, perfume. Um, Paula Bianca talks about it all the time. Theodora Scalatini, Coffee Addict, that one's on my list. Fun fact, I live in the most diverse city in the entire United States, which is Stockton, California. Proud to say that. Hmm. Why did I make this channel? What even is my channel? Am I a fragrance reviewer? No. Honestly, I made this channel because I didn't have any friends who were interested in fragrances. It was a lonely life for me when I discovered that I wanted to get into fragrances. I didn't have anybody else to talk to about it. Like I would just bore everybody's ears off. You know, no one could relate. Um, and yeah, good old YouTube, good old, I just put myself out there, you know? I'm not a fragrance reviewer. I talk about fragrances that I like, um, things that have worked for me. I have a bunch of samples that I smell and that I purchase off of other people's descriptions on YouTube. And once in a while, if something intrigues me, I'll ask and say, hey, um, is this more this like this one? Or would you say this one is more like that? super vague, I know, sorry, but like, that's just the types of questions that I ask. And if they assure me like, no, this one's more this, or that one's more that, then I'll be like, okay, I'll get that sample and I'll smell and see if I like it. But um, yeah, that's why I made my YouTube channel. I wanted to talk fragrances and that's what I did. I wasn't really sure if I was gonna make any other videos after putting that first video out, which um, was about a body spray, the Chirosa 40. It's time for my second cup. I'm digging my own skin right now, I must say. I have, oh, snail mucin. That's my skincare regimen right now. I use Curology and I use snail mucin essence and snail mucin cream which is more of a goo slash slime, but that's neither here nor there. I love how it looks. Um, 
and uh, it wears well on your makeup when I do decide to wear makeup. Oh, that's another thing. I used to really be into makeup. I used to have so much makeup, you guys. It was disgusting how much makeup I had. But I actually cut down my, my makeup um, collection down to three palettes, two eye palettes and one face palette, and then the rest are just mini for contouring and uh, you know eyebrows and stuff. I kept all my good brushes just in case, which actually the um, Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. I saw that in person at Sephora and um, it, it did something to my soul, to my heart. And I have been playing with that thing and I love it so much. I'm a cool tone girl to my core. Like my eyeshadow palette is Milani Soft and Sultry, the cool tone, like darker one. Love that one. That's usually, I lived off of that, lived off of that for so long. And I think they're discontinuing it, but I'm not sure. The Rose Quartz one is a lot more colorful than the Milani Soft and Sultry. So I'm gonna have to find a replacement for that one. But uh, what else can I say about myself? What do you think, Millie? What can you say about me? Hmm. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know either. I mean, ask me. I suck it about me's. I could hear that person. Which, oh my gosh. Duh, Issey Miyake. This is a for lifer too. Issey Miyake is a lifer for me. Um, this reminds me of the 90s. This reminds me of my cool aunties that I love and I idolize. My mom, like back when, back in the 90s, one of them wore this, one of them did. They all say they don't know who wore it, but like one of you guys did, one of you guys. Okay, I can't make this up. This brings back memories. Yes, like um, we have this family tournament every year. It's a golfing tournament and it's just my family like my Lola had 12 brothers and sisters. And so it's all her brothers and sisters, their kids and their kids' kids. And now their kids' kids' kids. Um, 2020 threw a real wrench into it though. Like we didn't, we didn't get a chance to get together and I'm really, I, I miss that. But this perfume reminds me of the early days of that. When I was like eight, nine, 10. This is so dear to me. I should get a bigger bottle. Yeah, I wear this. I wear this when I'm tired of wearing my sweet scents or my other incense -y scents. And this is just a nice, pretty, pretty floral. I love this so much. Yeah, I really do. This is, I'll, I'll buy this for life. I don't even care. That's it, huh? Well, thanks for joining me. I hope um, you enjoyed this video. And, um, oh, let's talk about a little bit more about my channel. Um, yeah, so for my channel, I'm sorry I don't post all the time or super steady. I just, I need to be inspired to post something, you know? I'm not just gonna post something to post something. And um, yeah, I just felt, I felt like coming on. So yeah. I work from home. I don't get my bag from here. I do this strictly for fun. So, and I really do appreciate the people who take the time to put those videos out because it's a lot of work, especially if you're going to be doing it as often as, you know, the normal people I follow do. I appreciate that. Um, but for me, I just pop on here when I'm inspired to or if I get tagged, I love doing tags. Feel free to tag me in anything. I'll do it. Or no. Well, what should I say, Noe? I'll say, um, thank you. <laughs> I'm never going to ask you to like or subscribe anything. If you like it, like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Um, again, I'm here mostly just for me. <laughs> if you're my people, you're my people. You know what I'm saying? Like... Thank you for existing. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for watching me. I appreciate you so much and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Full of positive di positive vibes. Peace.
spray. Um, so these two. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. You see that? Yeah. Dang. 